welcome to Luis TV. Today we're gonna do a range test on my new Zero FXS. This is an electric bike. It's got a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery on it. That's good for about a hundred miles in the city in the summer. But uh, as you guys might already know, lithium batteries don't really give you full output in the winter because the battery is cold. The battery is frozen. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what the range actually is for the winter on this bike on the interstate so i'm gonna take it out and drive it to albuquerque to see how far it'll take me we got a little wager going here my buddy luke says he thinks that i'll get 43 miles 43 miles and die jen says that it'll 66 66 and i said i would get 50. this is a problem with all electric vehicles the battery is cold the chemical reaction doesn't release as much electrons and so your battery doesn't last as long but i'm curious to see what the range so let's do it so Luke is gonna drive behind me in my truck with the ramps and when the bike dies we're just gonna load it and, and we'll have our results so we made a little wager it's a little friendly wager between the three of us so whoever is the farthest away from the actual mileage gets to buy ice cream <laughs> so here we go Okay, so the bike is dead. Luke is right there in front of me. So let's see how many miles the bike gave me on the interstate. Woo! <laughs> okay, what's the, what's the mileage? 45.6. The mileage was 45.6. So the manufacturer claims 40 miles on the interstate. We got five miles extra. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't quite make it to Albuquerque, but the bike went 45.6 miles. That is 5.6 miles more than the manufacturer says it will go on the interstate. The manufacturer estimates that the bike will get will give you a 40 mile range on the interstate. It gave me 45.6. You guys both so, look so cute. That was <laughs> The person who loses this bet is the one who missed it by the biggest margin. And I think that's you, Jen. I know. You said 66 months. Maybe it lasted longer. 45.6. That's all we got. So we're about to get some ice cream. I'd like some food for the day. Alright, welcome to Luis TV. Today I'm gonna do the city part of the Zero FXS range loss test. Okay, I've already done one for the interstate and I actually ended up getting 5.4 miles extra. It's 36 degrees right now and I'm gonna go and try to do city range loss test. The reason I'm doing the range loss test is because as we all know, the lithium batteries in the cold don't perform as well. The batteries are frozen and the chemical reaction doesn't put out as many electrons so you get reduced range so the manufacturer says that this bike will get a hundred miles in the city but that's under ideal weather conditions this is not perfect temperature for the battery so let's see what the loss of range is and hopefully this can be useful to somebody I'll put a link in the description below to the previous video that showed the range loss test for the interstate so you guys can look all right let's go see how many miles we get all right right away this is not looking good for the manufacturer. My dad says that at this moment my range is 48.2 miles. That's quite a drop from the 100 estimated miles that it gets in the city. about 53 miles or so. I'm so cold. It's time to take a little break and get a little hot cocoa.
Well, I stopped to take a little break from the cold and put on another layer. So I came home to do that and I'm gonna hit the road again and it looks like it's raining. I'm gonna have to put this uh, French test on hold for now. Okay, I warmed up and it's time to finish draining this battery. Unfortunately, the weather got worse and it's raining. So now I have to finish it. In the water, I, I, I was hoping it would stop, but I just looked at the forecast and it's gonna rain for the next like 10 hours. So, gotta finish in the rain. <laughs> Back, the results are 90 miles. So range loss for this in the city test is uh, 10 miles. So the manufacturer estimates that you will get 100 miles in the city. I only got 90. At 36 degrees, that's not that bad. That's still a long time to be riding, but it did lose a little bit. The strange thing is that when I did the highway range loss test, I actually got five miles over what the manufacturer estimated I would get and both tests were conducted while the temperature was 36 degrees so mid 30s that is not a big difference when I decided to do this test I thought because the weather was cold that I would get a big drop off in range turns out I didn't I got a 10 mile drop off on the city and actually five miles over the estimated range on the interstate so I'm pretty much guessing the noticeable range loss issues have at much lower temperatures. Temperatures at which you would not want to be riding a motorcycle in. So right above freezing, it seems like the batteries perform almost just as well. So here we go, I'm here. So in conclusion, I think whatever temperature I decide to ride in, the battery performance is gonna be about the same. Slight differences, give or take just a few miles. It's, it's really not that much. Not significant enough for me to make a big deal about. Alright, welcome to Luis TV. Let's get back on the 2020 Zero and do another wrench test. This time we're gonna test the wrench with summertime temperatures. It's about 70 degrees now. So let's see what the wrench is on this bike. Hopefully it'll be more than the wrench we got when we did this test in the winter. To recap, my last city range test was done at 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Today is in the low 70s, it's like 71, 72, so should be the perfect condition for this lithium battery. During the city range test that I did in the winter, the bike gave me 90 miles. The manufacturer says that I should be getting 100. The point is to figure out if there's a difference between riding in the winter and riding in the summer when it comes to range. So back in the winter when I did this test at 36 degrees, the bike only gave me 90 miles in the city. So clearly there is some drop off from summer to winter. But okay, I've done a city test now both summer and winter. The difference is 17 miles. 
17 miles is really not that bad. I mean, <laughs> in the winter, I wouldn't want to ride 90 miles in the city in one sitting. Then in the summertime, I probably wouldn't want to ride 107 miles in one sitting. And actually for this test, it took me several days to drain the entire battery. I think the manufacturer estimates on the range is pretty much on the money. You know, if the cold is affecting the range, it's probably temperatures that are much, much colder than that. So if you're on a zero out there, just have fun. Don't worry about your range. It's going to be about the same no matter what you do or uh, what time of year you ride it. It's good to know there is still one more test I got to do, the interstate range test in the summer. So one of these days I'll get around to it. All right, keep the rubber side down and stay safe out there. Welcome to Luis TV. This is going to be the last wrench test I'm going to do. I've done city wrench both in winter and summer just to see what the difference is. Mostly what the wrench loss is on the bike. And now I'm going to do the interstate wrench test. I've already done one in the winter. It was about 36 degrees when I did it. It's in the mid 70s right now. So we should be able to get a pretty good comparison between winter riding and summer riding on the interstate. I got 45.6 miles on the interstate in the winter and during the city test the bike was able to give me about 18 percent more range between winter and the summer so i'm guessing that my range will also improve about 18 percent on the interstate so that should put me around 53 or so miles the manufacturer estimates 40 miles on the interstate so the bike overperformed in the winter i'm expecting it to overperform ever so slightly in the summertime so let's see what this thing does battery the mileage is 46.1 not even close to Albuquerque I got a half of a mile extra not what I was expecting at all dude I'm expecting you to help me load the rims <laughs> I'm sorry Jerry Coco the CEO of Coco Racing has picked me up on the interstate and the result it's better than the manufacturer estimates the manufacturer says that the highway range is 40 miles for this bike I got 46.1 so it overperformed by 6.1 miles in the winter I got 45.6 I didn't realize the drop off in range from winter to summer in the interstate would be so small so that's good in conclusion the bike performs over the estimate of the manufacturer and the wrench loss between winter and summer is half a mile on the interstate again if there is any real noticeable drop off in the winter it's probably at temperatures that are so low you wouldn't want to be riding in those temperatures anyways so enjoy the bike the range is six miles more than the manufacturer estimates way to go zero